So today we are going to have a closer look at the Imanishi, the Kitayama 8000. I will be using my King 1000 to set up the edge and I'll be going onwards to the Kitayama after that. I've had my King soaking here for a little bit. So I want to make sure it's in focus. And uh, yeah, I'll be using my uh, Musashi Akiritsuka Bunka. It's a carbon steel knife. Uh, another thing I'll be doing a little bit differently is I usually don't soak my Kitayama. I've done so today. It, it seems to absorb a little bit of water, but not too much. I have been using it as a soaking stone before without any problems, but today I wanted to see how it performs if I were to soak it. So as usual, we will just dull the knife a bit. So we have something to do. Absolutely not sharp at all. I'll try it with some paper as well, just to show you. And just, it's just, it's, it tears. So we'll start off on the king and do a couple of passes. like to work on the king. I love the feedback it has. It doesn't feel too coarse either. It's not like the... Um, uh, what's it called? The, um, the vitrified stones I have, which I also love the feel of, but there's just something different with this one. It's also a big brick, so I've had it for ages. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you guarantee um, you've seen this as well, as well, because I use it all the time. A couple more passes, I reckon. We are getting there. use as much of the stone as I can. There is the burr on that side. certain
10 of those, and 10 the other way. Feels all right. Just to five this time. It's three. a couple of alternating strokes at the end. Just pinch off the burr, clean off the knife. Oops, sorry about that. Just clean it up here just real fast. And we'll give it another try. Already a lot better so we are on our way the next thing I'll do I'll take away the king and I'll use my trusty oh, spring-loaded stone holder on the Kitayama here get it in place Looks decent. And we'll just go to town. Already it feels very smooth. It's definitely a lot soft, well, not softer, but it's smoother uh, after I soak it. Get a different feel on it. It's a fast stone. You do get a burr from it. You get some metal on there as well. But it looks like it comes off pretty easily. We'll do a couple of passes the other way. At least one. And we'll do 10 of these again after we're happy. It's a very nice polish.
and just gradually decrease the number of strokes I do each way until I do a couple of alternating strokes at the end. Ease off the pressure a bit. Clean up the knife again. Try to get a... No, I guess I won't. Well, hopefully, hopefully you can see the shine on that thing. It's a good edge. Good looking edge at least. And right, we'll find out. Yeah. It's a decent, it's a decent edge. I'll do a couple of strokes on the leather strap as well. Just to make sure we got everything off there, everything off the burr. Let's try again now. the kit I am for you. It's a quick stone. It definitely did help with a little bit of soaking, just five, six minutes or so. Um, you could use it as a splash and go, but I, don't, I, I really I really like the way it performed today. Uh, so I will be recommending that you soak it just a little bit before you use it. It was a joy to work on today. So now it's just to get the cleaning done with the old rust eraser. Makes the job a lot easier. And we'll do the king as well. Definitely a rust eraser is something everybody should have if you are uh, sharpening on whetstones. It's just, it just makes a world of difference when you're cleaning. It can leave some particles, uh, abrasive particles on the stone as well. So just make sure you rinse off the water after you're done. It's, it's, that's the rust eraser. It's basically a, well, it's, it is basically a, a whetstone. Although you have some rubber cement or rubber compound that keeps the abrasive powder in. So it will, uh, it will um, lose abrasive particles when you're working with it. So, so, to, so you don't mess up the uh, look if you're polishing and you know, you are a sujijiki or something very nice. Or if you're thin and you're on the last leg. So just be careful with that. But it really does make cleaning the stone a lot easier. So that'll be it for this video. So um hope you like it. I really recommend both the King and the, the Kitayama. If you have any questions about the stones just leave a comment and let me know. I'll probably see you around. Hopefully at least. <laughs>